Hello everyone and welcome back to a new session of Daily Current Affairs by SSB Crack Exams. I am Chetan Apurav, your GK and Current Affairs Tutor. So I'll be taking this session and today we'll be discussing about the Daily Current Affairs for 23rd of April 2020. Now before we move ahead, let me discuss about SSB Crack Exams in very brief. So SSB CAC exams is a one-stop solution for each and every major defense related examination, right? So we offer various courses for every exams like CDS, INET, NDA, FCAT and so on. You can visit for more detail on our official website which is learn.ssbcrackexams.com. You can also follow YouTube, uh, our YouTube channel and subscribe to it and also you can also follow us on Instagram. Don't forget to download our app which is available on Google Play Store by the name of SSB Crack Exams. So before moving on to discuss the news related, uh, we'll be discussing the question of the day which was asked in uh, yesterday's session. So I asked you guys to answer the uh, question in the comment section and many of you answered this as well and uh, rightly name the countries in G20 group, right? So uh, today I'll be telling you the answer. So the answer for this question that the countries in G20 group are so I have made it a little bit uh, more uh, you know uh, uh, interactive. So Argentina, Australia, Brazil, Canada, China, European Union, France, Germany, India, Indonesia, Italy, Japan, Mexico, Russia, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, South Korea, Turkey, UK and United States are the member of G20 group. Okay, so these countries are the member of G20. Anyway, so let's move ahead and discuss. Uh, uh, let's start discussing the uh, news. So the very first news comes from uh, Epidemic Disease Act and there has been an ordinance which was amended for Epidemic Disease Act. And why was this needed? So see, uh, we all have been very familiar with the uh, recent news that has been going on since uh, for a while now. So there have been a lot of instances of members of healthcare services, be it doctors or nurses or the compounders, they have been targeted and attacked by miscreants, right? And the amendment has been regarding that only to ensure the safety of those workers, right? So in that context, uh, context the union cabinet in its meeting on 22nd of April 2020 has approved promulgation of an ordinance to amend the epidemic disease act 1897 remember this year to protect healthcare service personnel and property including their living or working premises against violence during epidemics okay now uh, what was this ordinance so let's discuss that also in a uh, very brief way so the ordinance says that it will provide for making such acts of violence cognizable and non bailable offenses and for compensation for injury to healthcare service personnel. Okay, earlier this provision was not there in this Epidemic Disease Act. It is intended to ensure that there is zero tolerance to any form of violence against healthcare service personnel and damage to the property. If at all any person does this damage, then they will be punished with imprisonment of for a term of three months to five years and with fine of rupees 50,000 to rupees 2 lakh uh, if found guilty. Okay, so this was the news. Let's move on to our next article. So th the next uh, news is basically a uh, clarification which was uh, provided by PIB. So there was a lot of fake news going on that uh, till 3rd May which is the current last day of lockdown there was a fake news going on that there will be free internet provided by the government but the department of Te telecommunication has confirmed that it was uh, that uh, there will not be they will not be giving any kind of free internet to any users apart from that there was also a fake news uh, circulating that uh, you know the hotels and restaurants will be closed until 15th of October. So they have the Ministry of Tourism has also clarified that there is no such news and no such uh, circular has been uh, has been uh, in the scene. Okay. Now moving on to the next news. 
so the procurement of pulses and oil sets on msp minimum support uh, minimum support price okay so uh, what is the news let's discuss about that first so the procurement is currently in progress in 20 sets uh, uh, of course due to the rabi season this is the time of cultivation of rabi season uh, for 2020 nafed and fci food corporation of india procured pulses and oil seeds valued at 1313 crores benefiting 1,74,284 farmers okay ministry has also initiated several steps to decongest wholesale market and to boost the supply chains we all know that uh, making uh, keeping social distancing is also important amid this corona outbreak throughout this country so uh, to decongest that wholesale market and to boost the supply chains as well there are certain steps that has been taken by the government and basically the ministry so national agriculture market enam portal has been revamped with certain uh, improvements module of uberization of logistics aggregators has been recently la uh, launched on enam uh, platform this will what it will do it will basically uh, connect the transporters with uh, the producer so basically more than 11.37 lakh trucks and 2.3 lakh transporters will be linked to this particular module and this will ensure that proper supply chain is maintained okay so this was a very good initiative by uh, the government now moving on to our next news so border road organization has constructed and opened a new permanent bridge 484 meter long on the river ravi connecting kasoval enclave in punjab to the rest of the country earlier it was not a permanent bridge it, uh, it used to get lost uh, it used to get destroyed every monsoon due to uh, more volume of water in the river but now the bridge will be permanent and it has been built by border road organization so it will connect uh, kasoval enclave which is in punjab to the rest of the country okay now moving on to our next news pm to participate in the national panchayati raj day through video conferencing so we all know that 24th of april 2020 or 24th of april every year is celebrated as national panchayati raj day okay and uh, what has pm done here so pm has uh, uh, launched a unified e gram swaraj portal and mobile app on this occasion of course uh, it will provide the gram panchayats with a single interface to prepare and implement their gram panchayat development plan this is uh, also related to the digital digitalization of the rural india and apart from that pm will also be launching uh, Samvita scheme on the on this particular location and the scheme provides for an integrated property validation solution for rural India which is a major issue these days uh, in the rural part of India okay so this was the news now the next news comes from the pharmaceutical sector so the union pharma secretary had meeting with the SDC what is SDC, SDC? so SDC is nothing but state drug controllers okay so he had meeting with sdc to review production and distribution of medicine amidst corona outbreak and corona pandemic right so a meeting through video conferencing of course for obvious reasons was held under the chairmanship of secretary of union pharma and department of pharmaceuticals with the state drug controllers of 20 states and uts and what was the purpose it was just to review working status of the pharmaceutical and medical device manufacturing units pre and post covid 19 okay now pharma secretary had uh, sorry uh, what were the instructions that were given to uh, the sdcs which will also be discussed here so let me tell you the instructions so there was increase in the percentage of manufacturing to ensure it's working to full extent and increase the availability of the drugs they were told for solving all the problems related to logistics workforce movement ancillary unit required for drugs and devices in coordination with all concerned local authorities information of drugs and devices manufacturing unit to be provided urgently in soft copy by all states to the center and availability of hydrochloroquine as he uh, 
एजिथ्रोमाइसिन एंड पारासीटामोल फॉर्मुलेशन बी मॉनिटर्ड बाई ऑल द स्टेट ड्रग कंट्रोल वेर एवर दे आर मैन्युफैक्चर और प्रोड्यूस ओके सो दिस वॉज द न्यूज नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू अर नेक्स्ट न्यूज विच इज फ्रॉम साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सेक्टर सो वी हैव अ माइक्रो रिएक्टर विच इज डेवलप्ड बाई ए आर आई प्रोड्यूस विच इज ऑफकोर्स द माइक्रो रिएक्टर इज ऑफ यूनिफॉर्म साइज ऑफ नैनो पार्टिकल्स now how is this important and what actually this news is first of all let us know about ari so ari is nothing but a uh, pune based uh, autonomous institute ari stands for agarkars research institute it is an autonomous institute under the department of science and technology in uh, handled by of course government of india has developed a micro reactor that can produce large quantities of uniform size of nanoparticles thus serving a major requirement in biomedical technology this has major major applications in nanoparticle in sorry uh, biomedical uh, technologies and they have been developed earlier the sizes were not in control uh, they were not of uniform size but now they have uh, ari has been able to manufacture them uh, these micro reactor in uniform size so which is of of course great Uh, advantage the device could synthesize uh, synthesize metal uh, metal semiconductor and polymer nanoparticles by continuous flow active micro reactor now let us also discuss in brief about nanoparticles so nanoparticles possess unique size dependent properties which make them useful in biomedical technology but difference in their sizes which arise due to conventional methods of synthesizing them which were used earlier they used to reduce the their efficiency uh, their efficiency right but the researchers now have said that the new approach could be of immense value to researchers working in the field of specially nano science and nanotechnology and the technique may be applied to other chemical reactions where the stringent control on reaction dynamics is very vital so this was a good and a uh, very important development in this field now let us move uh, ahead and discuss the next news now hrd ministry has launched a national program vidya dan 2.0 so this is a, a po portal which encourages digital learning and shri ramesh pokhrial who is our uh, hrd minister right now he has launched vidya dan 2.0 program for inviting e learning content contributions in new delhi today let us discuss about product program uh, about the program that has been launched so it will increase the requirement for e learning content for students and uh, since of course uh, at both school level and higher education level especially due to the covid 19 there has been increase uh, in the in the e learning demand now the urgent need to integrate digital education with schooling to augment learning is also one of the reason to launch this program right now moving on to our next news indian railways announces slew of incentives for free traffic during covid 19 outbreak so what are these uh, uh, incentives and why are these done so these incentives are expected to boost the economy by aiding country's export these incentives will make customers to register their demand for goods electronically instead of going to goods shed physically right since uh, due to the lockdown no one can move or no one can go out in social places social gathering is prohibited so it will also allow the you know uh, the customers to register their demands goods uh, demands for goods electronically okay thus making it more convenient of course this whole process will be will become more convenient speedier and transparent okay apart from that let us discuss what are the steps that has been taken in specific way so non levy of demerge wharfage and other ancillary charges extension of electronic registration of demand and electronic transmission of railway receipts facility in case of freight forwarders iron and seal iron ore and salt traffic delivery of goods in absence of railway receipt which was not allowed earlier policy me uh, policy measures to encourage co uh, container traffic for example there will not be any kind of haulage charges for the time being earlier they were charged for haulage uh, so earlier they were charged for halting the rack but now they will not be charged for that there were some relaxations in freight transportation but these relaxations will only be valid till 39 
2020. This has to be taken in mind. Right? Now, uh, moving on to our next news. Cabinet has said that rupees 15 crore for India COVID-19 emergency response. They have uh, allotted 15,000 crore for India COVID-19 emergency response. So, Union Cabinet chaired by Prime Minister has approved rupees 15,000 crore for India COVID-19 emergency response and health system preparedness package. Now, let us discuss what is this package now uh, and the funds, of course. So, uh, the funds sanctioned will be utilized in three phases and for immediate COVID-19 emergency response. Out of these 15,000 crores, 7,774 crore has been provisioned for immediate COVID-19 emergency response and uh, rest of the money will be for medium term support to provide under mission mode approach. Okay, now uh, what are the key objectives of these uh, packages? So first of all, it will include mounting emergency response to slow and limit COVID-19 spread through development of diagnostics and COVID uh, dedicated treatment facilities, centralized procurement of essential medical equipments and drugs required for treatment of infected patients. By strengthening and build resilient national and state health systems to support prevention and preparedness for future disease outbreaks and by setting up of laboratories and booster surveillance activities, biosecurity preparedness pandemic research and proactively engage community so that we'll be able to uh, you know detect this kind of virus and detect uh, machinery to cope up with this kind of pandemic if at all it happens in the future now uh, moving on to our next news cabinet also has approved the fixation of nutrient based subsidy rates for fertilizers for 2020 to 2021 Right now, the cabinet minute, uh, cabinet committee on economic affairs, chaired by Prime Minister, has given its approval for fixation of nutrient-based subsidy rates for phosphatic and potassic fertilizers for this particular year. The approved rates have been mentioned here in the table. So for nitrogen, it is eighteen point seven eight nine. For phosphorus, it is fourteen point eight eight. For potassium, it is ten point one one six, and for sulfur, it is two point three seven four kg per kg. Right, this this is in rupees per kg. Now, moving on to our next news. So the last news for today is proactive initiatives of Trifed due to COVID-19. The current situation due to pandemic COVID-19 has dealt a serious blow to the livelihoods of tribal artisans and gatherers who are the most vulnerable people in the country. Why is it so? Because of course they live in the most rural part of the India in the forest region and they are unaware about the seriousness of the situation and this particular disease. So what are the steps that has uh, taken uh, that has been taken by Trifed? So uh, social distancing awareness livelihoods uh, to focus on their hygiene vandhan samajik duri jagrukta abhiyan personal protective healthcare and anti fp procurement has been the uh, steps that has been taken by trifed for these tribal people now moving on to our next uh, part of our session which is quiz time so we'll discuss some questions the first question is which of the following country is not in g20 okay so there are four options india china spain and italy i have already told you in this session in the starting of this session uh, the correct answer for this that uh, in fact the total number of countries which all are the countries which are part of g20 group so correct answer would be spain option c okay now Moving on to our next question, BRO has recently constructed a permanent bridge joining which part of the Punjab? So you basically have to name that particular uh, place uh, which where uh, this bridge has been uh, constructed by BRO. So Kartarpur, Kosawal Enclave, Bagha or Amritsar. So the, of course correct answer is Kosawal Enclave. When is National Panchayati Raj Day celebrated? So it is celebrated every year on 24th of April. Okay. The next question is which research institute in India has recently manufactured uniform sized micro reactors? Your options are Advanced Materials and Process Research Institute in Bhopal, ARI from Pune, Center for Nano and Soft Matter Sciences from Bangalore, and Institute of Nano Science and Technology from Mohali. So, of course, the correct answer is option B ARI from Pune. Now, the question of the day is 
you have to tell me in the comment section what are the functions of trifid and when was it formed okay so answer your question in the comment section the correct answer will be discussed in the tomorrow in tomorrow's session till then guys don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and share this video to your with your friends as well thank you jai hind